Davido put out a meme coin on the Solana blockchain. How would you put out a coin that has no real use cases behind it? And then you ended up messing up your fans people who invested in it. Many of them did that because of your admired personality, David. Fiat is really, really killing the growth of ordinary young Nigerians. Shout out to Satoshi Nakamoto. There are only 21 million Bitcoins. There will never be more. Sat for short or Satoshi for full to Bitcoin. If it is not 100 million Satoshi, it is not Bitcoin. What are you investing in? Mm. Pay attention. Welcome to the Digital Assets Show, the one-stop show for cryptocurrency education. Bitcoin on top of the table of the coin market cap. Yes, I am Oluwa Shegun Ore of Fair Koshimani. My Yankee friends call me Olu, or Olu, if you be a proper Nigerian person. Yes, I take you on the exhilarating ride weekly. I wasn't on the show last week, so we repeated uh, the edition. I want to say thank you all for sticking with me week in week out what's happening today the entire cryptocurrency market cap is over three trillion i want to believe yes no maybe like two point something trillion going to three trillion that is so big there is no business in africa that can compete with the cryptocurrency market alone uh that's sad what is happening to bitcoin today what is bitcoin price i know you want to know Bitcoin price is about $66,141 with a market cap of $1,303,867,000,000. What are you investing in? Bitcoin in the last five years is performing better than any other asset in the world. I've brought some very juicy information for you guys. We're going to start with... Um, uh, Bitcoin performance. In the last five years, if you can put that on the screen, in the last five years, five years performance of Bitcoin, what do you think is better between Bitcoin and gold as an investment? So in the last five years, if you had put your money in gold all over the world, it doesn't matter any currency you put in, into it. If you put your money in gold, uh, basically, it would have done about plus 76.28%, 12 calendar months in five places. And if you had put your money in Bitcoin in the last five years, Bitcoin would have given you plus 681.11% in revenue. So if you had put a lot of money in gold, say you put maybe $100 to $100 million, you would have only seen about a little close to 77% in profits in the last five years. That's not bad, right? So gold is pretty much stable and doing some numbers. But if it were to be in Bitcoin, it would have been at least 600% more. I miss the volatility of Bitcoin as the best performing asset on earth. What would you rather put your money in? Pay attention. Quick one, over two weeks ago, superstar, mega super Afrobeat star Davido uh, put out a meme coin on the Solana blockchain and in a few hours, they went up to over a million dollar market cap and you know, people thought it was, a, it was a meme coin that had some very beautiful... Uh, tokenomics behind it and, and, and business logic behind it. But at the end of the day, it ended up being a trash coin. We call it ish coin as Bitcoin Maxis. Um, and I was very disappointed because I'm a fan of Davido and I've had exclusive interview with Davido, the mega superstar way back, I mean, over 10 years while I was very active uh, uh, in the Afrobeat sector in entertainment. And, you know, I, I, I expected that Davido uh, would have used this, you know, aura, his superstar uh, uh, persona to foster projects that are more, more uh, lucrative and, and protecting of his vast, you know, fan base. But instead of that, the wealthy Afrobeat mega superstar must have been ill-advised. 
yeah, it must have been ill-advised because how would you put out a coin that has no real use cases behind it? And then you ended up, as it stands, messing up your fans. People who invested in it, many of them did that because of your admired personality, David. If nobody is telling you the truth, I'll speak, to, I'll speak truth to power and walk away. You're a young man rising above all of the controversies that have come your way. You've always conquered. You, had a, you have a fantastic name, David, like my name, Victor, right? And I, I wish that you can quickly walk yourself back and apologize to some of your fans uh, that's invested in this meme coin. Put it up on the screen so the world can see it, that the Security Exchange Commission of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has come out to warn Nigerians uh, against investing in the Davido meme coin. When such top government agency in charge of securities, commodities, and of course the capital market in Nigeria uh, come out to debunk a business that have to do with you, then there's something you are doing wrong. Because the man at the Elms of the Affairs at the SEC, Dr. Timi Agama, uh, is the new sheriff in town and would not take uh, uh, nonsense. We don't want anything that is going to mess up the fast-growing, emerging, you know, community that the blockchain is building. It's very, very lucrative for our economy to adopt the blockchain, Bitcoin, and, and all the types of innovations that can come out of it. But we need to sanitize the space. Scams cannot be allowed to proliferate the environment. On that note, I'm going to take a quick break. And when we come back, it's going to be the Digital Assets Show, exclusively on Pop Central. And I am your host, Olu. Ha <laughs> ha, where the money did, where the Bitcoin did, don't go nowhere. It's going to be more packed when I come back. Yes, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we had to quickly go on a break, you know, to make some money. And before we went on a break, I was talking about, um, you know, people's money being allowed to be invested in the, the wrong cryptocurrency project. You know, uh, the SEC, once again, I am saying it on national television, I've come out to uh, make it very, very clear, as a matter of fact, warning Nigerians to stay clear of investing in the Davido meme coin in case many of you are still falling for it. You know, it's so um, disappointing that, you know, mega superstar David O, who I love his music so much, and, you know, from afar we represent the Teddy BG gang, um, but, you know, it's not like we know they with them whiskeyed uh, FCO. We deal with them to 100%. We make an on <laughs> divide myself on top of my mata. But I'm a big fan. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I never expected the people around him, from his lawyer to his creative, intelligent team, to allow such a project uh, be put out there without proper structuring. People have been scammed. The coin have now gone down the drain. The meme coin. Yes, meme coins are not serious investments. But as a superstar, you would have encouraged, even if it is a real-world asset-backed tokenization of your, of, your, of your empire. You can tokenize the entire Davido music world on, on the Bitcoin blockchain using taproot technology. You know what I mean? And, and people can use the Lightning uh, network to buy you know, small tokens of whatever it is that your empire uh, is trying to, you know, become. Because you already have a reliable brand, right, over the years, you know, based on the type of, um, uh, the type of stuff that you've done. You've done wonderfully well over 10 years, David, and, and everybody working with you. But this one, where you do, you no good at all. You need to, you need to find persuade to tell you. This is a sector where I think you're personally investing for my re research and you want to package your name well. People's money that has been invested in that meme coin now and some of them, if you don't get at attack, best if you don't die for your neck where you don't know. And I'm not even playing, David. 
You know what I mean? That's why the SEC have come out. May God help that people have not started reporting you even in the U.S. If not, the U.S. SEC will also make a statement. It might not be now. That's one thing that is funny about the SEC. They stretch it. Just look at the headline. Please put it up on the screen. Look at the headlines. Too much everywhere. Leadership News in Nigeria said, Davido meme coin, highly risky, says SEC. Of course, Vanguard said, highly risky, sec ones, Nigerians investing in Davido's coins. Sec ones, Nigerians investing in Davido's coins. Tech Cabal said, sec issues warning on Davido. Naira Met Metrics said, investing in meme coin, including Davido's oh no, is highly risky. When they say your brand is risky, risky, uh, it's risky. <laughs> David, why now? It's not a good one. So you will now most likely have to spend more money on compliance and damage control when you would have spent a fraction of it to ensure that you put together the best team to innovate uh, properly on the blockchain. So please yield to advice, do the best, Thing and do not allow people uh, let you tarnish all that you have built for a very long time. It's, uh, it's not a good thing at all. The cryptocurrency space is emerging. There is a 10% capital gain in the New Finance Act, signed into law by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. You know, so we are trying to also ensure that the virtual asset service provider um, registration is is continue to be encouraged and, and not uh, face obstruction with things like this, right? We are cleansing up the ecosystem and you should rather be a part of helping us and not um, uh, damaging it. The world is watching. You are a big image and shouldn't be involved in such thing. That said, I'll leave it like that. OBU, I remain your fan. Um, what else? There are other hot cake news. I'm not even going to front. So we heard that uh, the FBI came to Nigeria, right? And uh, the FBI director actually met with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I don't know if we have that uh, content. Uh, the FBI director met with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and you know there was uh, a report that came out of the. Uh, federal government um, press table. But the report, what it was saying is completely different from what the street is saying. I mean, if you go to the FBI Twitter handle, I think what the FBI had to say was completely different from what the Nigerian people understood from the visit. Or is it because of the timing? Please put it up on the screen and hear what the FBI said they came to do in Nigeria. A strategic uh, alliance, I believe, is why the FBI came to Nigeria to meet with uh, uh, meet with the, the the president. Let me let me check it out. The FBI meet with the president. Uh, FBI director is trending actually. FBI director. FBI director meets with the president, I, I, but. This is what the Nigerian presidency put out there. You see the picture of the president and the FBI director shaking hands. It didn't look shady to me. It didn't look like there is a challenge there at all. It looked like a courtesy visit for proper synergy. But trust our people on the streets now. <laughs> now, the thing we have our people for streets, they talk. I don't mean, understand though. Because with our people, they talk for streets. You're different from waiting. <laughs> yes, hey, FBI can't do for Nigeria. Please put it up on the screen and see what our people are saying on the streets. It's quite funny. Uh, you know, <laughs> Nigerians are very crazy. Okay, so um, there's a comment on the FBI visit, right? Which says, this person is uh, at Novi, no, no, no Everest. No Everest. I, I think I didn't mess that name up. Distinguished KPMG LinkedIn Everest. He said on X, formerly Twitter, that I don't know what is wrong with APC folks. That's the ruling party. The US Senate wrote a letter to Biden and two days later the FBI director is in Nigeria. Mm. 
On the same day, the Binance executive was released. Mm. Does that ring a bell? <laughs> so the Binance guys that have had issues in Nigeria, you know, um, have been uh, getting lots of international uh, attention uh, that lawmakers in the U.S. Uh, wrote to the president, President Joe Biden, and uh, they've been pressure on the Nigerian government to release um, the people uh, or the particular Binance executive that was held in custody. Uh, we've mentioned that on the show over and over again. And then the FBI director visited Nigeria just about a few days uh, after the lawmakers in the U.S. pressurized. About over 10 senators, U.S. senators wrote to the president, their president, and said, look, one of our former agents, former FBI agents that works with Binance uh, has been um, held down. So the narration is more like Nigeria is holding the guy hostage because he is not directly liable for the woes of Binance in Nigeria, which are things like tax evasion and money laundering accusation. But there is rumor out there that the Nigerian government have now eventually dropped those charges. When did that happen? As soon as the FBI director met, met with the president, Magam, Binance Wahala for Nigeria, just the set to. <laughs> because Binance is actually now a U.S. Uh, uh, government or, or, or a U.S. company, basically, even though the founder and the former CEO of Binance, uh, CZ, is the richest billionaire in Gallo, as I speak, behind bars. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny. Cryptocurrency is so amazing. Mysterious things happen in there. The richest man behind bars, practically top 20 richest man in the world, is behind bars, getting richer and richer and richer. And it will soon come out in the short, in the short uh, few days. <laughs> Crazy. And another Nigerian commented on that. The second comment on the FBI visit. Uh, let's put out the second comment. This one is quite interesting. His name is Big Chief at Monsieur Black. Monsieur Black. He said, LOL. You must think we are mugs. FBI director visited for the release of Binance executive that has been detained for months. You are coming to release useless statements. Now, for no release, I'm nah. <laughs> what he's trying to say is that Nafono released the former FBI agent that works with Binance that people have told you over and over again that you are holding him illegally and for no release him. Now with FBI director don't come and I can't release him. <laughs> it's crazy. But check this out. Um, there is an excerpt from the FBI and President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu's meeting uh, which is uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu meets FBI director calls for stronger collaboration to fight cybercrime and terrorism. So all those things with Nigerian people, they talk for streets. It's not exactly what it is. But let me just read something from the excerpt. Uh, President Tinumbu meets FBI director. That's the topic. Uh, calls for stronger collaboration to fight cybercrime and terrorism, except for, from the Nigerian government meeting with the FBI. Uh, the president said, we are working hard to eliminate terrorism, cyber crimes, of course, cyber crimes, cryptocurrency save the inside, you feel me? But cyber crimes in general, sextortion, and I am glad that we have a good number of agencies that are involved in reducing these crimes to the barest minimum. And they are also well represented at the meeting, the president said. That's President Bola Metinubu saying to the FBI director, you know, that he's very glad that almost all the agencies that are in charge of um, cyber crimes and terrorism uh, and, and all the uh, negatives around security are on deck, you know, for that meeting. And he's glad that we are working on it. Uh, I think... Uh, I think he further, he, further, he further reiterated and said, nothing that no single, he said, nothing, nothing that no single country can combat financial crime in isolation, which is true. President Bola Metinumbu called on the United States to support developing countries with the requisite technology and knowledge transfer required to combat complex international crimes. And of course, in response, the director said uh, it was in the country to enhance the outstanding partnership 
And this has already started to bear fruit in terms of the success you are recording against ISIS in West Africa and other terrorist groups. He said, we appreciate, this is him speaking to the president now, we appreciate your support and collaboration on cyber-enabled crimes and sextortion, which has unfortunately resulted in a few tragic deaths in the United States. I want to assure you of our support, whether it is on our uh our counter-terrorism, cyber-enabled crimes, kidnapping, joint investigations, and intelligence sharing. Our relationship with Nigeria is very important. Is a very important one. The FBI director, Director Ray W R A Y, said. So there was basically nothing about finance executive discussed in the open meeting. Maybe for backdoor, we don't know. But you know, coincidentally, the FBI director came. They released finance ex- executive. Wow. What an interesting move. It's the Digital Assets Show, my people. Quite interesting. Um, What have you been investing in for the past years? What have you been buying? How have you been coping with inflation since this new administration has come uh, to, you know, play their own part? The last eight years under President uh, Mohamed Buhari, was quite um, tough for Nigerians, especially for the cryptocurrency space. It wasn't really a very encouraging administration for the past eight years. But since President Bola Ahmed has taken uh, power, it has also been a little bit tougher. (laughs) Inflation has gone up about 35% now in Nigeria today. Food prices are up. Saving in the bank is even getting worse and worse and worse. Bitcoin is the best savings technology on earth. I'll go on a quick short break. Think about this. When we come back, I'll tell you why Bitcoin is better than everything you can invest in, even real estates. Don't go nowhere. Digital Asset Show with Olu will be right back. Thank you very much. You're welcome back to Satoshi. Ooh, ah, Jesus. <laughs> I was about to say welcome back to Digital Assets Show, but you know, I was reading a Satoshi's Journal article. <laughs> it's all right. <clears throat> it's all for you guys. I was reading a Satoshi's Journal article by my partner, Jeremy Garcia, uh, which is very, very unique. The title of the article is Owning Real Estate is a Pain in the Ah. I'm sorry for saying that on national TV. It's a pain in the, it's a pain in the neck. Owning real estate is a pain in the neck. Now, Jeremy Garcia is a civil engineer in the United States of America. Fantastic personality and a true Bitcoiner to the core. He is a realtor. For a realtor, one who invests in real estate to say that owning real estate is a pain in the neck and that Bitcoin is the best store of value without the hassle of real estate. Thereby giving 10 reasons why why simply buying Bitcoin and holding it makes you smarter than a real estate investor. (laughs) That calls for a sit back and we think. Because in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, real estate is one of the most lucrative business that we do in Nigeria. So um, there are 10 reasons, right? Whereby Jeremy Garcia has explained that it makes you smarter to invest in Bitcoin and just holding it, not even trading it, not doing anything, just Buy Bitcoin and hold. It will make you more smarter and earn more profits than a real estate investor from a real estate investor who has now sold practically all his real estate into Bitcoin. Now, 10 different reasons. Reason number one, depreciation. He said, Real estate depreciates over time because it is made out of organic materials. And even though the government allows real estate to depreciate, real estate 
as a tax incentive. Think about it. They are encouraging real estate investment or investors to hold on to something that is decaying. So the government allow real estate invest investors to depreciate real estate as a tax incentive. Right? You can depreciate it as a tax incentive. In other words, think about it. This real estate investor who has now sold all his investment to buy Bitcoin and hold is telling you that the government is basically encouraging real estate investors to hold on to something that is decaying. He used the word decaying. It is spoil. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wahala. Furthermore, he said, Bitcoin is digital, so it cannot physically depreciate. Facts. Correct. Now one day. Think of it this way. Walmart. Walmart is like our own shop right. You understand? Blanco, all those big supermarket. What in the US? Walmart owns many physical bricks and mortar stores that will decay over time and not last forever. Along came a digital store, Amazon, that allowed people to shop online. And move to the next picture, the picture that has hungry, hungry hippos, that could theori theoretically last forever. Amazon dematerialized Walmart's brick and mortar model into a digital model. Bitcoin dematerialized physical property into digital property. Once real estate investors grasp this, they will be buying Bitcoin like hungry hippos. <laughs> Wow, this is very interesting. And this is just number one. So, imagine ShopRite, Blenko and the rest of them. They have many stores, right? Look at how many years ShopRite don't they for Nigeria. Blenko don't they. The rest of them, like Conga, Jumia, came along. Social media shopping. Online business. And now, <laughs> you don't even need a shop that decays. Do you understand? Online business, Amazon is doing 10x, even what's more. The owner of Amazon is the richest man in the world over Walmart. We get big, big real estate investment, big, big shops, big. There's something there. Two, he went on to say number two, there are 10 things. I don't know if we can finish it this week, but let's see how many we can go through. Why real estate investments is a pain in the neck. And why Bitcoin is better. Number two, tenants. Of course, you'll be familiar with that name if you live in Nigeria and you are into real estate. Tenants. And if you're watching me from any part of Africa, real estate investments deal with tenants that don't care about the property because it is not theirs. It's true. You know the way tenants they do for Nigeria. Now landlord they do everything. Tenants they go complain. <laughs> you to landlord do well, so they won't be complaining. Bad tenants can lead to real estate investment having to or real estate investor having to evict them. When you have a bad tenant, you definitely want to let them go. Fight them in court and deal with them fixing a trashed property. And deal with the fixing of the trashed property. When you have a bad tenant, they go spoil the tap, they go spoil the window, they go spoil the spot, that, spoil that, they don't pay on time. That's why you can see that the real estate model in Nigeria is changing from one year, two years tenant to short lets. Use one day and go, go your papa house. Not your papa house, but this one. Use two, three days. Hotel model, short lets, you know, but not hotel. Because <laughs> that's six months where you go use if your money expires, where landlords are supposed to give you. Is some tenants, bad tenants are taking advantage of it. And he said, Bitcoin doesn't have tenants to deal with. So there is no fixing of pumping machine. There's no fixing of bad walls that is leaking. There's no bad water. There is nothing, no, no operation costs 
that kills you in real estate in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a better investment than real estate. We'll go for another short break. When we come back, we try to do more. Reasons why investing in real estate anywhere in the world is a pain in the over Bitcoin, which is better. Stick with me. Digital Asset Show. We'll be right back. You're welcome back. The most break that we have ever taken on the Digital Asset Show. Woo, I love this. If you can be doing this type of break, if producer can allow me, it will make a lot of sense. <laughs> Breaking news. Do we have it? Breaking news. And I don't know how true this is, but rumor has it that T-Mobile, you know the mobile company? T-Mobile, they're a telecommunication technology company, announces plan to venture into Bitcoin mining. T-Mobile wants to start mining Bitcoin. Are you paying attention, Africa? Are you paying attention, MTN, RT Salat? Oh, we let Salat know the again. That one. Airtel and Globalcom. Are you paying attention? All the techno and the rest with the, our country, uh, ITEL and the rest of that's all the phone uh, uh, makers. Do we even have phone makers in Nigeria? Maybe they are a franchise of Chinese company. But anyway, the telecommunication companies, are you paying attention? When will MTN start to mine Bitcoin in Nigeria? There is nothing that can incentivize the energy that you already use to cushion the no power wahala in our country like Bitcoin. Think about this. If T-Mobile, what's the market cap of T-Mobile? Let's check that quickly. If T-Mobile, a big company, one of the biggest mobile companies in the world, world T-Mobile market cap, market cap, What's their market cap? One of the biggest companies, mobile companies in the world, if they can start mining Bitcoin, then there is a problem. T-Mobile's market cap, from what Google is giving to me, T-Mobile US Incorporation, is worth, its market capitalization is 206.23 billion US dollars. They want to start mining Bitcoin. Hey! That's when they will tell you, T-Mobile will tell you to be doing tap, 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 that your hand could be pain you. Meanwhile, you are the one mining their Bitcoin with AI algorithms for them. Pay attention. The real companies, the multinational companies are venturing into the best performing assets in the world. For the past 10 years, no asset class, not S&P 500, not NASDAQ, not the Nigerian Stock Exchange, nothing, nothing. Nothing at all has done better than Bitcoin, not even real estate investment. That is why we at Bought Me Cash are working towards building the best infrastructure for the buying, selling, payments, investments, spending, uh, and the use of Bitcoin in general, of course, and the Layer 2's technology on top of it, like Lightning Network for real-time gross settlement so that you can participate in every um, advantage that the technology Bitcoin has come to you know, offer us. Shout out to Satoshi Nakamoto. There are only 21 million Bitcoins. There will never be more. And there are 100 million Satoshis in one Bitcoin, just like you have 60 Kobo in one dollar, in one Naira. And you have, I think it's 100 cents in one dollar. You know. Cents to dollar, pence to pounds, pesos to CDs, na a cobble to naira, sat for short or satoshi for full to Bitcoin. If it is not 100 million satoshi, it is not Bitcoin. What are you investing in? Mm. Pay attention. But me cash is building a peer-to-peer -peer exchange. And you always see our logo. You know you've been wondering what are we working on so that you can have the safest place, one of the safest places 
uh, to innovate, to uh, create jobs for yourself, to uh, foster everything that you want to be doing around local and international payments, cross-border payments, and we will be abiding by the SEC rules. So join us, uh, find us on Twitter, you know, and, 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 and see, and find us everywhere. You can just reach out to me, right? And, you, and, and just see the wonderful things that we're going to be letting out in a couple of weeks. And we're going to launch product here and so that you can test the wallet. You will be able to send and receive Bitcoin on chain. We'll give you non-custodial services. Uh, of course, we run a node, so uh, we validate our own transactions. And uh, I don't want to talk too much. I'll just let you guys see. So pay attention. There will be a verifiable place, a safe place for you to do transactions because you can't escape it. Too. As soon as people begin get license like this, it is legal in our country, Nigeria. Fiat is really, really killing the growth of ordinary young Nigerians who have not been able to beat poverty with the minimum wage that they are even promising that they have not paid. Let's tell ourselves the truth. How much was minimum wage some years ago? I think in 2011, 2012, it was about um, 18,000 naira, right? And then how much was $100? $100 was around 18,000 naira that time, right? Okay, fast forward to 2015. Minimum wage was 30,000 naira. 2015 to 2018, 2019, 2020, 21, 22, 23, it remained at 30,000 naira. It didn't change for almost 10 years. How much is... US dollar today, one dollar. How much was one dollar then? How much was hundred dollar that was equivalent to eighteen thousand naira then when minimum wage was eighteen thousand naira? How much is minimum wage today as we speak? It is still thirty thousand naira and they are trying to change it. And people are saying one fifty is too much. People will increase prices. What is standard organization of Nigeria for? What is uh, FCCP for? Federal Competition Consumer Protection uh, Agency. <laughs> increase price now. We make a government can't change them for you because you want to pay your brothers and sisters well. Eh? Is it good that uh, you are impoverishing people by underpaying them? I think the president has actually incentivized some uh, basic needs and taken out the tax on them. Um, I'll find out the information and share with you. And if that has not been done or if that has been done, the proper compliance institution should ensure that people are not shortchanging the country when the minimum wage is eventually uh, uh, backed by law and assented to by the president. Therefore, now, how much is $100? It's about 150,000 naira. Today, as we speak, how much is minimum wage? 30,000 naira. And the dollar is inflationary. The world is going against the dollar. People are trying to exit the dollar. BRICS, for example, is trying to create its own monetary policy. Saudi Arabia has just ended a 52 years petrol dollar deal, which means Saudi Arabia will not buy petrol from the United States of America alone. Rather, they will also buy with other currencies, will deal with other countries directly. Over 30 plus countries in Africa and Europe are already queuing behind the BRICS idea. What is BRICS? Brazil, Russia, India, uh, What's the C in there? China and South Africa, represented Africa, Nigeria. Everybody, don't they try to go there now? The, the, dollar, the, the dollarization of the petrodollar is happening very, very fast. And Bitcoin is what can help us escape that bondage. Wake up. Things are not getting better. Save your energy. It is dissipating so fast. I would like to continue with the real estate is better than Bitcoin um, article by Jeremy Garcia from Satoshi's Journal, but we do not have time, so we will continue next week. I hope you have enjoyed today's show, and I hope you have learned something. Pay attention to your finances. I am not a financial expert. These advices are not financial, but I know how to debunk myths and establish the facts. Say inflation day, it affects you and I, but Bitcoin will protect your savings. It is exponential in growth. It is vitality even within the volatility, and Bitcoin will enrich your pocket. It will enrich you. It will increase your savings. Just buy Bitcoin and hold. Now my advice for you be that. Try yourself. See you same time next week. I remain your host, Olua Shegun. Olu!